Hey guys, welcome back to the VidBits. I'm Brayden. And I'm Brian. And today, I'm going to be playing Black Ops 2 with my dad in 2024. So, my dad has, you know, kind of limited zombies experience. We've mainly played uh, Zombies in Spaceland on Infinite Warfare. And he liked that map a lot because of the 80s theme. But, you know, we figured we'd go back to some of the older games and play uh, some Black Ops 2, which was actually my first uh, Call of Duty Zombies experience. Um, like most people, uh, not most people, but most people around my age, rather, a lot of people started playing around World at War or Black Ops 1. But I digress. This game is actually 12 years old uh, this year, so that's pretty crazy. Um, are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, let's get into this. What's pretty crazy is when you say 12 years, I guess you I would consider that retro because like, you know, I was born in 81, so the games that were super popular for the NES were between like 89 and 92, 93 at the at the end of it. So like when we were thinking about things like retro, we were thinking about Atari which was like 77 to 81, 82 or whatever. So this being 12 years old now, that's crazy. And it's new to me, so it's retro to you because you played it when you were younger, but I didn't play this at all, so this is completely new to me. Yeah, I mean, I feel like kids in maybe the 2010s would consider this retro now, you know, who grew up playing the later Call of Duties with the worse and worse Zombies games. I'd say, except for maybe Black Ops 3, which is also just fire awesome zombies made by the same group of people, uh, with a lot of love and care. Uh, between voice acting and, um, you know, just actual uh, programming and, you know, lighting. The game just looks great in general. So, I feel like maybe we'll play some Black Ops 3 in the future, depending on how you guys feel about that. You know, how about, here, we'll set a, a like goal. You know, I've never really done that, but how about um, a thousand likes and me and my dad will play Black Ops 3. Uh, so, what he, I've made here, Dad, is the turbine. Actually, I lied. I totally lied. I'm missing a part. Um, here it is. So, the turbine's used to, like, provide power to the map, because until you get to the main, um, switch, you kind of have to power things yourself. So, we got a max ammo there. That's awesome. I was about out of ammo. Alright, so I'm gonna open up this door to our right, and there's a ladder here. So this ladder can... Did you open this? I don't think so. so. Oh, I guess my uh, turbine opened that door too. It, it surprised me for a second. So let's hop on the bus. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was being impatient. So this is our bus driver, Ted. He's a pretty cool guy. Oh gosh, that's crazy. Alright, so buy, uh, you, you can buy the B23R here. I'd say it's a pretty good starting weapon rather than the Olympia. Um, <laughs> there's a, a little meme that a lot of people always talked about. It was like M14 or Olympia Gang, and it was literally just like, what was the first weapon you bought? But most people, um, if you use Olympia, you kind of realize it's not really great. The M14's alright for points and decent damage, but like, at the same time, I'd rather save my points for something a little better than the M14 or the Olympia, honestly. Eh, honestly. So, uh, we're going through this little uh, tunnel here. Oh goodness. There he comes, right through the window. Oh my gosh. You can toss grenades uh, out the back, which will uh, surely blow them up. Now, tell me in the comments, was that green flare on my screen the activation of a perma perk? Um, oh. I don't really remember what cues those in this game. There are little subtle changes where you'll get like, say, you know, one more hit, or, um, it'll like, it, like they all kind of do something. <clears throat> There's one that makes you immune to, to grenade damage. Like, I don't think that's what this one is, but I can try it. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I feel like that was decreased explosion damage right there. Um, so, the box is right here, Dad. Oh, my friend, the box. 
We ought to be quick, honestly, because... Aw, oh, a sniper? I guess. Now... I don't have enough. You don't have enough? Nope. Now, there's another buildable. Um, this one is uh, a shield, which might benefit you. I don't remember quite where all the parts are, so maybe we'll come back and uh, finish putting that together later. I could check around this workshop. Typically, if you, like, scan around the edges of the, the place, you'll find it, especially if you don't really know. Oh, you have enough to hit the box. Here we go. Let's see if I get something good. Uh, it's pretty big. What is it? HAMR. Hammer? Yeah, that's a solid gun. And then, of course, I'm down. Oh, you're down? Yeah, there were some zombos that was right there. I killed them both, but... Um, the bus might be leaving soon. We gotta, gotta get going. Oh, the MTAR just has horrible accuracy. Maybe that's just me. Good timing. It sucks when, um, you know, you're playing this map with your friends and, like, you just miss the bus. Like, uh... You know, we played some warm-up games, and, like, Dad just missed the bus. Like, I'm telling you, like, he was right there. And, you know, it's just, like, it's funny, but at the same time, when it's happening to you, it kind of sucks. Because, like, when you're in the fog and the denizens are just climbing on your face and, like, scratching you, and, you know, at that point, you're kind of screwed. Like, so, I mean, if you're tough enough, you're able to get all the way through to the next destination, but, like... It's not, it's not easy, really. That's creepy. Oh yeah, now we're in the, the cornfields. Or close to them, at least. Okay, so this is farm. I don't really feel like we should get off here. It's, there's not really anything notable, honestly. I typically wait until you have more points, because the only thing here is double tap root beer, which increases bullet damage, um, and fire right i think what's that um it's a perk that thing there there's blowing that shot oh oh the that's max that's a max ammo um are you low on ammo nope okay then i don't really think it's worth hopping out the train or the not the train the um bus i was just picking off some points there yeah we were gonna get ditched if we went for that max ammo you know me i'm always oh. about that uh Got the, got the nuke. The easy points and rebuilding barriers. Oh yeah, that's important. And a lot of people get very, um... They get very caught up killing zombies and, you know, progressing with the map and they don't really rebuild barriers. And sometimes it can be the death of you, honestly, because it, it slows them down dramatically. Lucky for you, I'm the guy that always is doing that. Picking up the... Like in Borderlands, I'm the guy opening all the chests and getting people community gold and all that. Yeah, that's true. Iridium, um... I know I would always be running past them, and then you'd get like a loot midget or something. Yep. Like, yeah, Borderlands Two is pretty fun. Um, I think we should be arriving at the generator soon, or the power station. I think it's called. Here it is. So we have to be quick here. We don't want to be left by the bus. So, um, I have a request of you. Okay. But, um, can you leave your generator right here? Or your, uh, turbine? And then just shoot. The How shoot. do I leave it here? Just do I hit? The shoot button. There okay. you go. There you go. Um, now we're looking for parts to put the generator together. Kind of just scan her. Here, grab this one. Grab that part. Alright, so I'll get the, I'll try to find the zombie hand, which is one of the parts. I think it might be over here. Now, if you see the generator over there, you can put it on it. Um, there it is. Alright. Over where I'm at is where you build the, the generator. Odd. I have never heard that over before. where you're at, okay. Yes, yeah. You have to go around the other side. Of course I do. 
And then there's this part. And then you'll have the uh, the lever to put it all together. <laughs> that zombie hand's just kind of floating there, gripping nothing. Go ahead and turn on the power. Alright, there we go. Yep. Nice. Oh, and look, so... If you see in there, while uh, this is going up, watch the little container that's rising. There's a little guy in it. An electricity guy. Oh, goodness. His, mm -hmm. I think his name's the Avogadro? No, Dad, come back. Don't go, no, don't go in the electricity. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> All right, so now we're not going to really dawdle too much longer here. Now, this is a difficult jump. Come up here. You need to make sure you're sprinting. You're going to sprint and jump across. Okay. Go ahead. Nice. I remember growing up, I had friends who would miss that jump. Oh, no, the bus! Run! <laughs> here. Okay, when you see the guys running up, let me know, and I'll shoot them off. You're running up on me. No! So we dorked around too much. I'm gonna have to go back. Yeah, we did. I, we did exactly what I said would happen. You did? You said, let's not hang around there too long. I mean, we did everything we had to do there. I'm sorry. I don't think I was gonna be able to revive you out there. <laughs> I didn't mean to leave my dad, I promise! Oh, man. So, is there a way to come back? Yeah, when I end the round, you'll come back. Will I come back where I'm at? You'll come back here. Okay. Got a, a pretty cheeky wall by there. Yeah, that's, you know, you gotta be very quick. And I thought we went quick enough, but I think I went the wrong way when I was picking one of the parts up. Now, hopefully, Ted will come back around and pick us up. I mean, I'd like to think that he's not going to just leave us. Oh, behind me. Um... Luckily, I got a wall buy weapon, so I'm able to buy ammo. That's one of the convenient things if you pick up a good wall buy. I, I recommend this uh, this AK-74U. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, that, that should be pretty good. Now, I think we should probably just chill out here. Unless you want to... Actually, we can... Hmm. You, I gotta think, right? Because in between some of these areas, there's lava. And if you decide to run for it you're just screwed because the denizens will be attacking you and slowing you down in the lava and you're just done for so i think we we kind of just have to sit and wait for ted honestly sorry for stealing your kills it's okay Ooh, double points and insta kill such a nice combo. Because you can knife them and get all the points. Here, get this guy. I don't remember how long it takes Ted to come back. Oh, shit. I gotcha. Thank you. Got an insta kill. Awesome. I'm gonna use my pistol just uh, to take care of him quicker. All right. It's a little unsettling how quiet it is. Yeah. Towards the end of the rounds, you're like, "Where is that last guy at?" Oh crap! Is your is your turbine still down there? Oh, it's totally destroyed. So what the turbine does is. It's such an inconvenient thing because, you know, it has a timer, but if you leave it down there at that wall, when you go into the town area, um, inside the bank, 
uh, you'll be able to go down to a lower spot where you can get to pack a punch. But that only works if you leave that there. I gotta reload. Can you take care of him? Get him. Nice. Okay, hopefully Ted will be circling around here soon because... You know, while we can buy as much ammo as we need, this is a pretty confining space here. At this little stop. I mean, I, I do believe town is the last spot on the, the bus route, so... Hopefully he'll be coming back around here soon. I hope so. Luckily we're gaining money and we can keep using it to buy that ammo. Yeah, you're right. Oh, nice, there's a max ammo. Reload, reload first. You good? Yep. This voice actor for this character I'm playing sounds familiar, like he's from this really small, known show that was called Mission Hill. You talking about Russman? Yeah. The um, character you're playing as? Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, I'm playing as Stuhlinger, um, I think, unless it's, um, Marlton, I'm not sure. Yeah, Russman's one of my favorites. I just think he has such, like, a... He has such a specific character to him, and, you know, he's kind of losing his... But, you know, he doesn't really have all of his wits about him, and he's kind of losing his mind a little bit, but... You know, it's... It, it really fits into the crew. He kind of fits in as, like, the grandpa character a little bit. Like, the full crew is, um... Russman, Misty... I, I can't remember if his... I think his name's Marlton, and which is the nerdy character, and then there's, um... Oops, Stuhlinger. Watch out. I don't think your grenades damage me, but thanks for warning me. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna warn you if I'm not sure. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> we got quite a bit of money. Maybe I should buy some... Definitely should buy some more ammo. Yeah. It, the bus has to be circling around soon. I feel like we've just been waiting and waiting. Like, I, I'm pretty certain that if we were to go and run for it, we'd die. So I don't really think it's worth doing that. But now that the power's on, we should be able to go get Juggernog and all the other essential perks. Which will keep us alive a little bit longer. So we're doing a pretty good job keeping uh, the stand here, regardless of... Oh, I'm trapped in the corner. You you said that! You said that and I'm down! No! <laughs> Did you jinx me? Oh, you jinxed crazy. us! You said it! <laughs> you literally said it. That's horrible. Wow. Well... Let's try a different map. You want to try a different map? Yeah, we can put two maps on here, can't we? Yeah, I think we should be good to do another one. Because it's not like I'm very, like, astute as to what to do. I think we should do Town. Okay, because Town is just a simplified version of Transit. It's just one of the the couple different pieces. Um, Town is actually my favorite for survival. It's just very basic, you know, the perks are all in the same area, really, so you Is don't- back up? Do I back up from here? So you go to Green Run, that one, and then you go to the middle, the middle one, and then Survival. And then... Yep, start it. Alright. There you go. Yeah, we'll give you a little bit more on this episode. I just... That was my bad. I'm still getting acclimated to grenades, and... I just... I wasn't sure. It does affect... It does damage me if I... Oh, yeah, yeah, it does yeah. damage I, you. I was, I was cooking one in a bad spot. That wouldn't have been well <laughs> for me. It's all right. Happens to the best of us. Um. So, first things first, we're likely just going to open up this door here once we've got enough and get to the mystery box. There's a lot of uh, environmental damage here. Yeah, I like, but it's still very... It's realistic if it's like a, you know, war zone scenario. Oh, well, this this whole game happens after the events of Black Ops 1, where the uh, the Victus, or not the Victus, uh, 
Primus? I don't remember what... The, the group of guys, uh, Dempsey, Nikolai, uh, Rick Toffin, and Takio, they blow up the moon. <laughs> or no, they blow up the Earth from the moon. Um, which is just kind of hilarious. So it's an entire war zone, you know, wasteland. Uh, so all of the damage and the fog and stuff has been caused by the events of a previous game's easter egg, which is pretty cool. Yeah, Nuketown Zombies actually occurs during, or like right after the events of that easter egg. Which, Nuketown Zombies is kind of like, um, a more difficult version of town, honestly. It's based off the multiplayer map Nuketown. Um, I prefer Town, just because Nuketown, the perks drop in after a timed amount, or a specific amount of time, rather. Um, so you could be waiting and waiting for Juggernog, which is like the most essential perk. So now that we have enough, we can head into the bar. Which, look at this. So this is where you'd normally build something in transit. And the developers just threw a tarp over it and said, well, at least you don't have to look at it. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. There may be no use to it here, but at least you don't have to look at it. These zombies take way too many shots to put down. Oh yeah, you have the the basic pistol. Just try to stab them a couple times so you can get enough of the box. Oh, you'll definitely have enough now if you didn't before. Here we go. Let's see. Something good. Monkey bombs. So those are a tactical equipment that will um, take the focus away from you and put it on the monkey and then you can come like revive me or something so they can be pretty clutch sometimes that's not immediately helpful from this pistol situation i'm in yeah you're right especially as your ammo is dwindling how much ammo do you have left uh none none <laughs> oh okay so i'm gonna shoot them once in the chest and you're gonna stab them oh this gun is still a one shot. Oh, I can shoot them in the legs. So if I lower them, they should be good enough for you to kill. Stab this guy. And then there's that guy. Once you get him, you'll have enough for the box. All right, let's see what we get out of this. It's crazy. This game plays so smooth on Steam. Like, aside from a few uh, server issues we've experienced while recording. Oh my gosh, the Raygun Mark II. First draw, or first real uh, pull from the box, and he gets the Raygun Mark II. One of the best wonder weapons. You lucky guy. So it definitely helps a guy like me that needs a crutch. The only thing is, it doesn't give you too many points, so you might want to get a secondary weapon like um, the hammer you got or the RPD to cover um, your point making. You know, to be able to build up for pack a punch or perks or whatever you need. Yeah. So. Got a double points, but I should have waited to pick it up because the round ended. So, try to rebuild barriers or something to get some points. Yeah, do know that that gun also has has kickback, so if you're, like, standing on this ledge, it'll move you back a little bit, which could kick you off the, um, the little corner. Oh, I have enough for another pull from the box. I'm not the biggest fan of the MTAR. I don't know why I keep getting it. And the teddy bear. So we gotta go to the other side, where the other box location is. Um... It's near Double Tap, I'll show you. Um, 
Sorry, <laughs> I'm focusing pretty hard right now. I'm trying to clear these guys out. Because I feel like the second you lose focus in zombies is when there's like a bunch behind you, and then like they all swipe you at the same time. Alright, so take two or three or four or whatever on the mystery box. A sniper rifle. Your faith. Um, the DSR is okay. It's kind of fun to play with um, if you want to give yourself like a handicap. I used to do that all the time on this map with my friends because, you know, they really weren't that great. Not to be mean or anything, but like, so I would give myself the worst guns and they would like try to keep them alive the whole time to keep myself entertained because like I didn't want to play with the ray gun because I had already done super high rounds with the ray gun and like pack a punch, uh, you know ray gun and pack a punch explosive pistols and everything like you know so I kinda wanted to give myself a little bit of a challenge one of my favorite pack a punches is the uh, ballistic knife just cause you're able to save your teammates without having to dedicate to a full revive It's crazy how big quickscope culture was when I was a kid. Like, that was, like, so huge growing up. Like, I don't know why. Like, people cared so much about how good you were at quickscoping. If you could win in a 1v1 or, like, anything like that. Like, you know, and I was alright. Like, I wasn't bad, but I wasn't, like, dedicating all of my game time to getting super good at quickscoping when I could play a bunch of different games and then when my friends wanted to play Call of Duty, we could play that together, like, but I'm not going to be, like, on my own, like, super sweat tryharding trying to get better than everyone else, because that wasn't really my vibe. Like, I would rather just play some zombies, honestly. They were always like, Brayden, get off the zombies. zombies. I'm not taking that garbage. Literally, my friends would be, like, so anti-zombies because they weren't good at it. Like, they would be really good at multiplayer and they hated zombies because they would get downed by a bunch of AI, AI horde characters. Like, that was a really How stupid explanation. Uh, why? Oh. I'm so dumb. Why did I over-explain that? <laughs> then again, it has been, like, th how long? 30 minutes almost maybe something like that so my brain sometimes gets a little bit of fog I'm also trying to focus on killing all the zombies and keeping you alive Oh, I love the ballistic knives! Let's go! Those are gonna come in handy. I feel like Town could have used the perk Mule Kick, which gives you three guns. Am I down? Yeah, it's alright, I'm coming. There's a double points. Thanks for reviving me. No problem, man. Go ahead, get some points. I'm not gonna hog all the zombies. I know that the Mark II is kinda hard to get points with. Oh shit, I'm down. Throw your monkey. Oh. I'm not very smart. <laughs> You're smart, Dad. It's alright. It's only your, your, like, third or fourth round of zombies. So if you guys want to see us play other zombies maps, or maybe give, give these ones another try, um, let us know down in the comments if you guys want us to play Black Ops 3. 1,000 likes. That's our goal. 
So it's been Bray and Brian from the VidBits. Love you, you guys. guys. Hope you've been enjoying this. You know, and happy new year, belated new year, late 2024. You know, we're excited to get this year started off strong and hopefully a lot more content. Um, you know, we kind of, you know, I'm not going to say we because it was mostly me. We kind of petered off um, in the middle of the year. You know, I started working and things got a little complicated, but, you know, we're back on the grind now. So we love you guys. We really appreciate all the support all the time, you know. Um, so, yeah, have a good one. It's been Bray and Bry. Peace. Peace.